Good morning. I am Sushil Sharma, Professor and Course Director of Pharmacology at the St. James School of Medicine, St. Vincent. In this manuscript, I have presented recent update on various classical and potential biomarkers for the early personalized pronostics of Alzheimer's disease. Currently, CSF, amyloid beta-142, total tau and phosphorylated tau are used as classical Alzheimer's disease biomarkers. Potential AD biomarkers like transcriptomic, proteomics and glycomics are also used in addition to body crude biomarkers and microRNA and mitochondrial DNA which can be estimated from neurons, platelets and lymphocytes. More specifically, Chernobyl body can be detected for the personalized pronostics of Alzheimer's disease. Chernobyl body is found in the hippocampal CA3 and dendrite gyrus neurons as a consequence of compromised mitochondrial bioenergetics. Whereas the antioxidants such as glutathione and metallothione prevent Chernobyl body formation by serving as potent free radical sequences. Metallothionines are down regulated in Alzheimer's disease which provide neuroprotection through zinc mediated transcription regulation of genes involved in cell proliferation, differentiation, migration and development. Hence, chernulopharmacotherapeutics preventing CD formation, augmenting metallothionin and chernulophagy and also chernulophagy, chernulosome exocytosis will be therapeutically beneficial as basic molecular mechanism of intracellular detoxification in Alzheimer's disease. Aggregation of Chernobyl body at the junction of axon hello can block the exoplasmic transport of various enzyme neurotransmitters, hormone, neurotopic factors like BDNF and mitochondria at the synaptic terminals to cause impaired brain region of neurocybernetics and eventually cognitive loss associated with early morbidity and mortality. In vivo physiological and neurobehavioral biomarkers can be evaluated by analyzing computerized EEG event-related potentials and circadian rhythm. And also we can measure the multi-modality fusion imaging by employing CT, MRI, SPECT and PET. More specifically, PET imaging biomarkers representing reduced frontotemporal fluorodeoxyglucose uptake, increased C11 and fluorinating fluorobetapyl uptake and C11 PBR28 to measure the 18 kilo Dalton TSPO as a biomarker of inflammation and 3D MRI to assess the ventricular mongali and MRS for estimating the creatine to phosphocreatine ratio and N-acetyl-S partic acid as a measure of neural injury can also be estimated for the clinical management of Alzheimer's disease as I have discussed in this report. Finally, I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to Professor Kolor Guha President St. James School of Medicine for his constant moral support and encouragement. Have a nice day.